What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to reset normal dungeons as a solo player. So let's go ahead and pop in here as my level 100 druid and just have a blast. I'm gonna show you how this done. This is really, really cool if you struggle to find groups or don't have people to play with. You're gonna be able to reset your normal dungeons over and over and over again. However, there is a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need nightmare sigils, okay? It doesn't matter what tier, doesn't matter what dungeon, you're going to need Nightmare Sigils for this to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use Abandoned Mind Works. Now, however, keep in mind that this is going to waste the Nightmare Dungeon. So if you don't want to waste one, then, you know, that sucks. But you do need to waste one. So we're going to go ahead and pop Nightmare uh, Dungeon for Abandoned Mind Works. Okay, we're going to go over here and do this one. So let's teleport. I'll see you guys right over there. Now, the trick to this is pretty simple. Um, it, it works very, very easily. It's going to be very, very cool for you guys to do. And it's going to help for all you solo players. So that way you do not have to sit there and reset the dungeon by like just standing there. Or like we've done in the past where you go from one dungeon to another and go back and forth, back and forth just to reset them. This is going to be much, much quicker, quicker because it works just like you would do in a group which is awesome. If you guys don't know how to reset dungeons in a group, it's fairly simple. All you're going to do is just, when you're done with the dungeon, hat, you just leave the party. It respawns you back on the outside of the dungeon, and then you're going to go back in and regroup, and you guys are going to be able to do the dungeon all over again. So, let's show you how to do it on solo. First, we popped our Nightmare Sigil. You got to go all the way to the dungeon, which is really cool. Now, when you get inside the dungeon, all you have to do is kill one monster just kill one if you happen to kill more that's fine but just kill one monster and then you're gonna leave okay so i'm gonna go in here we're gonna find one monster real quick and we're just gonna kill them should be pretty easy okay perfect we're gonna kill this guy okay he's dead now what we're gonna do is not we're gonna teleport out Ooh, just made it look at that we're going to teleport out. Now, what we want to do is we want to go at this point. This is how the trick works. We want to go to the dungeon that we want to farm. So, for example, I'm a big advocate of Blind Burrows. Where's Blind Burrows? Blind Burrows is right here. So, I'm going to teleport down to here, and we're going to go to this dungeon. Okay? See you guys there in just a sec. Now, when you're traveling to the dungeon, make sure that you're doing nothing but this. Okay? Can I stress this enough? You want to do this in the correct order. So when you're when you're heading to the dungeon, just go there, teleport to the closest waypoint, and we're just gonna go straight to the dungeon. No questions asked. This is all you need to do. Head straight to whatever dungeon that you like to farm, whether it's Arudu, Blind Burrows, even Champions Demise, it does not matter. Let's hop off and just run through. Okay, now we're at our destination. We're gonna go into the dungeon and we're gonna start to do this by Exploring the map, right? We're gonna do this as if we're gonna complete the dungeon. Okay, I'm gonna show you briefly You need to explore enough, but Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and complete your dungeon, right? You want to complete almost all of it now. I'm gonna show you I'm just gonna try to explore enough of the map so you that way you guys can see that it has reset So let's just we're gonna kill some monsters. We're just gonna keep running around here But for you, it's gonna be completing the dungeon and then we're gonna leave right? Grab that mace. We're going to roll out. I just want to explore enough of the dungeon so you guys can see that it is reset. Okay. Normally, what you're going to do is you're going to go through this entire thing. You're going to kill all the monsters and CC for whatever reason. Back up. You're going to kill all these monsters. Uh, Tornado Druid is absolutely insane for those that are watching the link go check it out I have a build video for it. It's absolutely insane So let's kill all these monsters, right? Okay, so now I have a good portion of the map explored now for you You want to have the entire map done. You're gonna complete the dungeon, right? Do not kill the boss I cannot stress this enough. Do not kill the boss never kill the boss because that completes the dungeon Okay, then you have to leave the game and go back out, but have enough of this completed. So now what you're going to do is teleport to the start of the dungeon and you're going to leave. All you're going to do is leave. Super easy, right? Just like as if you're in a party, you leave the party. It's going to put you back at the beginning of the dungeon, right? Just like this. We're out. 
Okay, now we're going to go right back into the dungeon. Doing this should automatically reset the dungeon. Automatically reset it. Okay. And now, let's pop open the map. Boom. Dungeon is reset as a solo player. Dungeon is reset as a solo player. Super, super easy. Again, you're going to go back through. You're going to complete the dungeon. Kill all the monsters. Don't kill the boss. Teleport back to the start of the dungeon. And boom, you have infinite resets for normal dungeons. Infinite resets for normal dungeons. This is absolutely insane if you're a solo player. I know there's a lot of people that struggle to gain levels because they are a solo player and they cannot find a group. However, if you are looking for a group, make sure to click the link down in the description for our Discord. We have a huge community of people that love to help out. So make sure to join. It's really, really fun. But this is how you complete uh, normal dungeons and reset them as a solo player. Um, I will have another guide coming for Nightmare Dungeons if you're a solo player, which we'll have coming soon. But this is how you do it, guys. Really, really simple. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Can comment down below what do you guys think about this. And make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.